Hello YouTube NFL Pro to be 96 here with a how to install and or download and install Ubuntu inside of Windows. First, um, you're gonna go to, to to get a free download. You're gonna go to your web browser and open it up, and you're gonna type up here Ubuntu.com. Gonna let it load up, and it's gonna come to the Ubuntu home page, and you're gonna go over here and click on Get Ubuntu, and then you can pick which way you want to do it. But if you want a CD, want to do it onto a CD or USB memory, you can you click on this one, so it will, so you can like transfer it and put it on different computers. But I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do all that junk. And you guys, it's pretty easy to do. But then you'll get this, and you just left, right click on it and burn disk image. And then you put your CD in and burn it to that. And then now, you're going to open up your disk drive. Hold on, I need to get the disk out. Okay, and you got your disk. I don't know if you can really see Ubuntu 11.04 and you're gonna get it out sorry this is hard to do with one hand you put it in your disk drive close it and then wait for it to load up And then something's going to pop up soon. Okay, here we go. And you're going to click on Run Wubby XEE. -E. And yes, click yes. Let it load up. And you can demo and full installation in it. And then that'll delete everything on your hard drive. And it'll just put this in unless you somehow like put on like put everything on a recovery disk you can install it inside windows or there's a learn more I'm gonna click on install inside window okay and then it's gonna start it's, it's gonna bring you to this screen right here it's gonna say how much you have left how much free space you have on your drive and then it's gonna tell you how much this is and then it's gonna have your a username and you gotta type in your password so I'm gonna put this down so I can put my password in and then you hit install it's gonna start and as you guys can see I have Windows 7 and if you watch some of my old videos you, you know that I have I have Vista but I downloaded Windows 7 onto it and that's really hard to see. Let us focus. Let's let it focus. Uh, if it does, no, it's not going to. And you just let this load up, and it tells you how much time. It's going to take two minutes, twenty seconds. Okay. And you just let that load, and I'm going to come back. Once this is done. Okay guys, I'm back and this has 20 seconds left. Just gonna let this load up. And I had Ubuntu before. I had the old version of it. The 10 point something. I don't know what it was, but uh, I didn't really like it. So I uninstalled it and I was gonna try out this one. And I might do, uh, I might do a, what's it called? Review or something? I don't know. But... You gotta plug it into the internet through an ethernet cable so you can get all the drivers. And hopefully, it's gonna be done soon. It's doing all this stuff. Okay, it ejects your CD for you and you just gotta go. It says you have to reboot, so you can either reboot now or you can manually do it. But I'm gonna click reboot now. Finish. Sorry if I have bad camera. Like, 
I don't know, angles, because I have to film with my right hand and type everything in the left, uh, and use my mouse with my left hand, and that's kind of hard to do. And I have to try and talk to you guys at the same time. So it's going to restart your computer, and it's going to bring you to this, and you just hit F1, and then it has Windows 7 or Ubuntu. I'll go to Ubuntu, show you guys that it works. And it's going to do this thing. Okay. Ubuntu. And then it's going to load up everything. And after this, it just takes you to the home screen of Ubuntu. And just finish this installation. If you guys want to see another video on like how to get the drivers or anything like that, leave a comment on what you want to see and give me ideas. And subscribe. That would help me out a lot. So thanks for watching. Here it's going to bring you here. I'm going to end the video now because the rest is easy to do.